the last couple of years I've worked a lot with groups do, working on education uh, to say, well, what do we teach our young people about members of other religions and to help them to get to know each other, uh, to know more, um, you know, what is Islam, what is Christianity, who are Christians, who are Muslims, uh, to um, have a, a better understanding, a, a more correct understanding of what these religions uh, hold, and to see more that how individuals, um, you can be a bad Catholic, <laughs> you can be a bad Muslim, um, there are, of course, differences in what Muslims and Christians believe, but there are a lot of things that we have in common and that we can work together towards. One of the things that he wanted to do was to visit the site of 9-11, where the 9-11 uh, Museum has, is built now. Um, it is going to be an interfaith group. Uh, they have invited um, representatives from the various religions, uh, Muslims, Jews, um, I'm assuming there will be also Buddhists and Hindus, um, who will be there to talk about, um, I expect to talk about religious freedom, violence. Of course, the 9-11 Museum is a, a, a big symbol of um, what happened and um, uh, is, has the, um, one of the purposes is to educate people against religious violence. So I expect that, that he will uh, capitalize on that and we'll spend some time talking about that. I would like to talk to him a little bit, I mean, if I get to say something uh, personally, um, about the role of the United States, um, perhaps as, as peacekeepers. There's a lot of, a, uh, a lot of discussion right now about uh, religious immigrants, um, people coming, for example, from the Middle East, uh, religious violence going on there. And um, uh, he has a particular interest in people who are, uh, kind of the victims of uh, political unrest um, and especially uh, religious violence. He is doing something that we haven't had a pope do for a fairly long time, which is really to focus on this problem of um, migration and immigration and asylum, um, the, the consequences of these types of conflicts that we find in the Middle East. And although this has been something that the church has been interested in for a long time, he really has been able to bring it to a forefront, I think in part because of his credibility um, that uh, people are listening to what he's saying.